Yo, what is going on guys, like it's Pro here, my name's Will, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make any song your ringtone for your iDevice. I've been running iOS 7, iOS 6, iOS 8, it doesn't matter what iOS firmware you are running, it will still work. So, I'm doing this tutorial on a Windows 7 uh, operating system, but if you have either a Windows 8 or a Mac OS X so uh, operating system, I'll leave the links in my description below if you want to check those out on if you've that specific specific operating system but it should still work even if you follow this tutorial so a couple of things you want to know is that you will need to have access to the internet just to download your song either if you paid for it or um, if you just pirated it or something like that it doesn't matter I don't really care if you pirated it or not it will still work so you just need internet for the song part and if you have already got your song then you don't need to worry about that but next you will need to have iTunes and that's and the sync cable to your iPhone so if we head over into my iTunes, as you can see, I don't have a tones tab. A lot of people, a lot of people complained about this tab in my um, other video. So I'm going to be showing you how you can get that to appear. So if your computer is like mine here, and I'll just use the song Virtual Rails, but Virtual uh, Riot Idols um, for this tutorial, but it will work for any song. And if your song just appears like that and it doesn't show what type of file format it is, you will need to do this. So, first off, you want to head over into Control Panel. Once you are in Control Panel, uh, if we just do uh, sorry, if yours one will look like this. So, if it does look like this, you just want to locate the one saying Folder Options. When within Folder Options, you want to head over into the View tab. And once you are in the View tab, uh, you just want to click um, hide extensions for known file types. If you unclick that and click apply, uh, it should uh, change all the file names as you can see there. So now, uh, pictures of JPG, JPEG, sorry, and um, the intro and outro over here are also MP4s. So that is a good sign that you've done it correctly. And once you have done it, as you can see, it does say MP4. MP3, sorry. Um, so once you have that, you want to head over into iTunes now. Just want to drag that across so you, I can drag my song in here. So if, by dragging my song in here, it does appear. So next, you, what you want to do is you want to um, uh, you want to um, right-click on your song, and you want to click Create AAC version. Now this is basically just duplicating the song so when you do edit the runtime of a song it doesn't affect your original song. So ringtones typically have to be 30 seconds or longer. And now this 30 seconds can be from like anywhere in the song. So it could be the last 30 seconds of the song, could be the start of the song for 30 seconds, could be in the middle for 30 seconds, doesn't matter. You can make it when the drop happens, you can make it whenever you want, just as long as it goes for 30 seconds then you are ready to go. So once you have uh, created uh, the second version, it will take a while depending on how large the song is and how fast your computer processes and stuff like that. But nevertheless, it shouldn't take too long. And you want to go into the second one and you want to right click on that yet again. And from in here, you want to click on Get Info. Now, this will look similar to any uh, of your songs, um, any iTunes version, it doesn't matter. Just you want to follow this. And once you are in here, um, you want to go into the Options tab. You want to leave everything but these two. You want to highlight start time and stop time, and you want to change it to uh, any your start of the song. So when you want the song to start and when you want the start song to end. So as you can see, I have done it from the start to 30 seconds, but you could change this from uh, say you want to do it from uh, one minute dot 40, one minute dot 50. Sorry. But um, depending on how, uh, you will need to change the bottom one first before you change the top one just so it works out properly. But um, you want to make sure you have the s semicolons in as well. The um, It's the one that has a dot on top of a dot. And you want to make sure it is that and not just a dot or, any or a dash or anything like that because it will not work. So I'm just going to do this quickly for you guys just to show you again. Go on to get info. Go from op summary to options, and in here you want to click start time and stop time, and you want to click OK. Once you have done that, you want to uh, highlight that yet again. Right click and create create AAC version yet again. So this is creating a new song, which is now only 30 seconds in length, as we see there. So you can just go ahead and delete the second one if you want to, um, and you want to move that to a cycle bin. And you can delete the first one if you don't need that, as I've already got it here. But you can just put this back 
you can just delete the uh, song if you don't want that anymore, but if you do, nevertheless. So once you have the song, you're going to drag it out of iTunes to your desktop, and you don't want to delete this song, and just want to click create, keep file. And as you can see, it is now an M4A. Now that is completely fine, do not worry about that. And from here, you just want to change the A to an R, and you want to click that, and it says you want to change the file extension, and you just want to click yes. So now you have successfully created a ringtone file. Um, if you want to know how to change it, you can just click it once and click it again, so it be be able to change it. Or you can just right click it and click rename um, down here as well. You just want to click over here and change it. But I've just created an M4R. So right now I'm just going to drag this into my iTunes. I'll drag this over here so you guys can see it better. But if I just drag it into my iTunes. Um, as you can see it's not there anymore, but I've got the tones tab now. So from the start I didn't have the tones tab but now I do. And as you can see I do have the tones tab and my song is in here. So if you wanna rename it, um just say uh you can change it if you did download it like I did, um you will need to change where the artist name is, so virtual riot. And if you wanna know how to do albums you basically just do idols. Well this is for this song and you wanna do dash space dash space and then you want to do the uh, artist and yeah uh, once you have done that you just want to head over into your i device which should be plugged in and you just want to go over into sync and then you want to find the tones tab and you want to make sure uh, you have clicked tones to be sunk to your phone but I've already done this and my phone isn't compatible with this computer because I do use a different computer but once you have synced your song over, it won't appear in your music library, it will just appear in um on your device. So in order to enable the tone, you want to head over into settings, you want to head over into sounds, and then you want to scroll down a bit from the top and you want to find ringtone or something along that line, and then you want to click it, and then your ringtone should be up the very top because it's a custom one that you made. But if it's not, just retry it. this video. It should have worked. It worked for me. Um, if you any, have any problems, just comment below and I'll endeavour to fix that as soon as I can and help you out. But if you don't want to comment or you don't have a YouTube account, you can just I'll leave a link in the description for my email and you can email me. I tend to get back to those emails within 24 hours. I'll try my best to do that. But um, yeah, if, uh, if this did work, please make sure you leave a like below. Subscribe to us because that's how our, our channel a lot. I'd like to thank you guys for getting us to 2,000 subs. Uh, we're currently on 2045, which is really good. Uh, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy.